guys, welcome back to Rosomoda channel. How are you today? Member, club, only. Yes, yes, yes. I know that you're waiting for. I know, believe me that I know. Uh, it's take time. Uh, if uh, you don't know, my beautiful wife Maya, is, she's is pregnant and I have less time uh, to make a model and especially to make a new video for you guys. But uh, as you can see on the table, uh, two Corvette. Stingray project on uh, my Instagram uh, and as I love as I all the time love to do is to show you before everyone the finished project on my Instagram and I think it's awesome because you are the member club and you are the man that need to see it before everyone so thank you thank you uh, and this is original car that uh, on the street shadow gray lake blue I think it's amazing you can see the original car over there uh, with the license plate and everything and I think it's amazing uh, to build a, a real car for people it's all the time really really enjoyable uh, things to do because uh, I think uh, people trust you that, that you make the original car and I try to do my best with the spoilers and uh, some skirts and I think it's awesome but I know that you want to see the Bugatti and uh, I really enjoy in the first part uh, we will do the second part today guys uh, I hope that you enjoy for uh, things that Asi do I think it's a magic guys this guy is it's like uh, the master of carbon I call him the master of carbon and uh, I know I have a doubt about that uh, today I will show you how we make a small parts People, uh, if you see the spoiler, it can uh, separate and this tiny piece, you see it, he will show you how to make it today and I think it's also because uh, when you handle with the uh, big parts so you can hold it and uh, make it uh, right but on small parts it's a little bit difficult and today you will see how, how, see, how Asi make it, yes Asi, I love you so much and I miss you so much and uh, I don't want to talk about this because I know that you wait for the video and how I make it uh, I must say guys uh, this is the first project that we do together and we not think about uh, making a fully video of carbon fiber maybe we will do it on the next project he will, sh he will, he will send me uh, the fully video of the step how we paint, how we mask, how we cut and things like that because uh, some people uh, speak with me and uh, tell me we want to see the fully process so we will try to do our best on the next project to, on the next project together that uh, people uh, see all the steps guys and I'm excited even one year ago and I still excited when I make a video for you guys so I can breathe but let's enjoy together let's see what Atsi made thank you for the people that uh, buy this uh, amazing cars guys this is the uh, uh, really a uh, fun things to do to build model for somebody else that you have a car it's uh, very excited if you see I all the time build the uh, cars for the uh, people on my Instagram and also on YouTube yeah, yes guys because the BMW that you see on the channel is also for uh, wonderful guys so no more talk let's see us speak we have the own way to make it, okay? So let's enjoy second part of carbon fiber. We have a lot of parts on this car because we need to build the interior and the wheel system and everything. We will do it together, but now, thank you. I know that you miss me. I miss you too. Let's enjoy together part number two of this carbon fiber. I see. You are in the spotlight. Enjoy. I created a template that will cover some of the hood and the fender. You can call it the fender or part of the nose. And I did it from here, from the left side. And, uh, but I'm gonna use it for the right side. I mean, I can do it either way, but I will just do it for the right side just for the heck of it. Let's see, doesn't matter which side, but Usually, so we said 90 degree, 
the direction would be this way. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's see. So the most important part in here would be the straight line here, which is right here. So I got to concentrate on this line here, and then the rest of it would go whatever it would go. So we got to be careful from here. <laughs> I paid uh, many times, uh, so I can start anywhere basically, as long as I keep this one on this line here, which again, going to be this way, which is, doesn't matter either way. You can do it that way, or you can do it that way. If you do it that way, it would be for the left side, but it won't work anyway, because the template is meant for the right side. So the direction will be this way. So I don't want to confuse you, but you can try to figure this out. So now we're going in this direction. And that's the important line in here. So I'm gonna put it anywhere. I cannot put it in here. I cannot put it in here. I'm trying to save some room, you know. Can't go that way, remember. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here. Say so you don't have to be by the line that I those lines that I created, it's, it's for visual too. I don't have to be right on it either. So I can go I'm trying to save always takes a little bit more time but you become more economical so I'm gonna choose this side here let's see make sure so that's the straight line in here which goes in parallel with the other one I just visually did it and that's how it should be so Coming in it, so that'll be for the right side, and this is the direction. Okay. What I do usually sometimes too, I just go around it. Maybe I'm wasting a tiny bit, a little bit. There's always some leftover in any material you use, even in paint. So. I'm just gonna go around it sometimes. Not even exact, further from it. It's a big sheet. Put it away, then I do it again. So the most important line is this one here. And um, I like to, because I didn't put it on a line, I like to create a line too. So I can see it better when I cut it. Because that's the important one in here. Okay. Now here, let's see. We'll have to go in here as much as we can. We'll leave that and then we'll cut this section later. Okay. This line is important too, because that will meet the side of the fender. Hopefully, I'm not sure how it's gonna be yet. I'm not there yet. That's why I'm starting with the top over here so I can match everything. The front is gonna be one piece, but I'm not there yet. So that's for me to start with for the nose. Okay. It was much easier for me to cut it than holding the whole sheet. So sometimes I do it that way. Just not to make a mistake. Okay, so always verify the direction. And that's how it's gotta be basically. And I'm gonna fold it in here and this line gotta be right on. And this line gotta be right in the center. And then let's see what happens. First time, never did it before, so. Let's remove the template. OK. 
solution with that line here try to keep it in the center for you guys okay with that air pocket out of there that was a huge one okay we'll mess with this later all right let's Try to fix this. some of that water liquid Suck this a little bit. I like to get my Q-tip wet, just to be a little bit softer. Always making sure that it's in the center. This line is okay too. I'm gonna let it fold around the headlight like inwards. And then I'll do with the front, I'm not there yet. I'm very curious. But I'm gonna start over here first.
I'm going everywhere. If I go one direction, I will pull it. So, we'll be patient with this. Sure, the line is still there. Okay. Slowly, slowly. All this happening because of the line in here. It's, the liquid is succeeding to get in there. I can really cut it and get away, get you know, get rid of that issue. But I'm patient. You probably don't see all those little wrinkles, but. They're there. This line look okay. A little bit started running away from me over here, so I'm gonna try to bring it back to that line again.
Okay, so let's dry the area a little bit. There's some water, it's really sticky. Oh, there's another one up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somehow I pushed it away. Okay. It's already folded under the headlight. This line looks good. A little bit over here. Okay. All right, so as you can see, now it's all there. The next thing I gotta do is, <laughs> my cat. The next thing I gotta do is fold this guy in, which I'm not in a rush yet. I'd rather do it when I'm gonna use the hairdryer, but I'm not there. I wanna just cut this line. Just cut it so the line could be showing better because it's full of the decal. In here, I got a little bit of work to do and shift and push it a little bit inwards, but I'm gonna leave it alone for now. And I gotta cut this and fold it in. And it went a little bit over here on the window, which I gotta cut it right online. And basically I'm gonna show it to you and uh, we'll go from there. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of that piece where the window is at. And it's right on the line. Amazing. Okay. I have two knives. One is lost, is not sharp anymore, it's not new, and I forgot about it. I'm using the wrong knife. And I'm like, what's going on in here? Here you go. So it's very important to use a brand new knife. That one I used for almost half of the car. That's it. I'm using it to do other stuff with it, but this one I'm only using to cut it with. So you could have seen that I was a little bit struggling over there, but I got it. So I got a little bit left over here, past the door. I like to do that sometimes. Okay.
Okay. So the top of the fender line that matches with it, it goes with the door. That was it. Now I got the line for the hood. I want to strain it a little bit. So I'm going to push it a little bit more. I'm getting some air and some water coming out of it. So let's bulk it and just slide it. Okay. Let's do that curve over here. <laughs> it's always nervous when you use a very sharp knife. That's why, if you can see, I, ch I put a decal on that one. So, and I've turned a lot of them, but that one is the one that peels stuff off, and this is just for that purpose. Because it's going to be really sharp, and you don't put pressure. This way, you don't run out of the line. So, I'm going to take some of the solution in here so it can nicely go in there into the line the panel line there we go um, okay beautiful let's drain it you want to go that way this way you don't want to go that way you might pull it off here's a dry one to do after that I like to use microsol and just put it in that line this way it would stick really good in there too Gently. Now I got left the, the cow area. And this one I said when I'm gonna after I heat it up then I'll twist that one in. Get the brush in there. Leave this alone. This is done. This is done. This line is done. It's folded under the headlight. Here I'm gonna merge it with the other piece that's gonna come from the fender, hopefully. That'll be the next thing that I will try to match. And this is right on the middle. We gotta push this guy inwards, but I'm not messing with him right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush it on this cow area over here. Try to figure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right here. Now this knife. I'm 
Okay. Alright. Just poking it. It's already stressed. Okay. I'm gonna take that heavier duty brush that I use just because I wanna load it with the liquid under the hood. And it's folded under the hood. There's a section of the fender that's showing over there and a corner over here. So I wanted to cut it so it can save me a deco. And here comes another cat. I have four of them. And there was one attention, which I do give you. Okay, so. There's another line. I'm just gonna cut it. I'm not gonna. Okay, so I gotta do the rear spoiler. And uh, as the whole build, it's going to be split right in the middle. And it's gonna be one direction this way and the other direction that way. So. I have the templates here, so I'm going to start doing the left side to this direction. And I have another template, okay, that could be used for the back, which we'll get to. But first we're going to do the top piece, the front piece, so I'm just going to do one half, and then I'll do the other half, and then I'll do the rest of it later. This way I can grab it and hold it easily. So. This is going to be the template. Now, I have some leftovers. There's always leftovers because of the the way the shapes of the parts. Sometimes just the way it is, you have some weird uh, shapes. So this is going to be for that direction. So I don't need that yet, and I don't need that one. And so that will be the only piece that I have right now, and it's going to be this direction. Okay, so. I'm gonna take the template. What I did in this situation, you see I have this marking that I have over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, you see I can't tell where, which way is straight, so what I'll do is, because I already have the lines in here, even though I gotta put it on that side, so how, I can't even see it. So what I do usually is I just cut it. Or what you're doing is basically, I always do it with my eye. I create another line next to it, right there, with a pencil. I always like to use pencil if you can. Sometimes you have to use a marker because of the tape. Some tape you can mark on it with a pencil, but uh, this one you can definitely use a pencil on it. And once you put on a template, if you use a marker, and when you put a decal in the water, sometimes it becomes stained and it stays in the water. I just prefer not to have any issues. So I created a new line in here and you know, I like to cut it with scissors, not with a knife because when I cut it with scissors, it's cutting it both ways from here and from here. So it's kind of squeezing the decal inward. Specifically when I create the center line, I rather have it with the scissors than with the knife. It would be one way to cut it. So it will be out here but pushed in here. When you cut it with the scissors, you're kind of squeezing it between the two, so it makes the line, the center line, thinner. So when you put it together, it's much better than if you use the edge of this carbon fiber decal, which I did sometimes, it would show the thickness of it, so, because I'm not cutting with the scissors. So I always cut it with the scissors. I always try to cut it right in the center. So I created a new line. And this is another piece of leftover, but I have no choice. Because I'm going to use this, this is going to be my new line. This way, because I don't see the squares from here. So, we said it's going this direction. This is going to be the left side rear spoiler. 
and I put on the white area so I can see what I'm doing and I put it right on the line make sure you do right on I fold it to confirm to make sure that I got it right on it looks like it's right on so now I just gotta cut around the edges and this is gonna be like perfect fit to this with a little folding into it and the back will cover the rest of it so we're just gonna do the top first but you see I'm using this lines again this is the line for that direction basically if I fold it over it'll be for the other side so this is what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna cut it with the scissors cut this extra tape over here first and I'm gonna cut it exactly as it should be I like to use those type of scissors because they're smaller and easier to cut in a situation like this than bigger scissors but everybody does it the way I'm used to it and it works out for me so so I cut it right by the line okay you can see that this is straight in here and it shows that it's straight on the other side but it doesn't matter and I'll put this away and that's how I get it straight without just randomly pick up any piece because I made those 90 degree um, squares you see make sure it fits this rear spoiler have like ups and hills you can see that I left a little piece in here I'm just gonna cut it a little bit right on that turn there you go save you the job later if you create the perfect template then things should be fine let's see from that side it looks good okay so let's remove it's coming out easily don't even have to use a knife to pop that out this tape is really good it's by Tamiya Without this, I will really have a hard time creating any templates, any. But sometimes you need to use other tape. But 90% of the time, if not more, I use this tape. Okay, so let's put this in the water. I always try to put things away. This way, always put this away too from the water. I don't want it to get wet and then I'll destroy it. right usually put all the leftovers in here this is all the leftovers that I have from that car and I might need to use another one so that'll be like the, almost the third sheet that I would have to use but it's so far too I believe I didn't count I think I started from one that was already used so <clears throat> let's see I just uh, okay almost this all right let's so we're gonna use it for the left side, which is that side here. Everything here is backwards, but hey, just pay attention and everything will be fine. Put some of the deco solution. Okay. I'm not sure about those heels that it's got on it, but we'll figure this out. I'm just gonna take it slowly. See if this is ready. Yeah. Looks like she's ready. And I like to start from the center, but I always have to adjust it anyway. So just to get it nice and smooth. It should not be that hard to do. And I'm not going to fight this. Try to get in the center in here. It looks like really perfect right on. What I'll do, the first thing that I will do, because I got those heels, I'll just take a Q-tip and just suck all the liquid out of it. That's what it does. You put it on and it drains it from the inside. That's shifting over here and there. Okay. Okay. I 
adjust it again. Get it right on the center line, which is the top of this mountain that they have on that rear spider. Make sure it's in the center. Everything is right on. It looks like it's on it. I have to shift it a little bit towards the front. Here you go. How are we doing over here? Let's use the brush. Still shifting on me, so it's okay. Just get rid of the liquid slowly, nicely. Take your time. I see those little mountains over here already start to affect the decal, but I'm not messing with them yet. I'm trying to always get it first aligned and straight. Make sure we go in this direction. <laughs> Believe me, I had my own mistakes. We all do. So I always verify, no matter what. Get rid of the liquid. Just get in there. I lost some of that adjustment. Okay. Don't look like we're right on. I'm tackling this area here because it's the most flat area in here and it's always good to start from somewhere that it's flat and then you work it out with the rest of it so so far we look like we're in, right in the center maybe a little tiny bit here we go but I'll drag it again with the q-tip A little bit off the center line but we'll get there we'll pull a little bit more here you go looks like i'm right on the center in here but i gotta pull it a little bit in here but it start getting sticky a little bit by little bit start working in here a little bit and just take your time and you do little by little this one is not really hard to do let's see it looks like it's in center in here but a little bit off over here so i'll drag it a little bit i'll drag it and it's tiny too but you got to be very soft very gentle you don't want to put too much pressure and it's good when you stretch it a little bit I'm not touching those areas yet. I will get to them eventually. But meantime, I'm concentrating on the flat areas that's easy and it's gonna come from in there and stretch really good. Making sure in here it's really good. Looking good over here too. How's my straight line in here? It's a little bit tiny off over here. Okay, now I'm going to start working in this area a little bit, work in this area a little bit, I'll go this way and that way, go in here a little bit, here it's already dry and it's sitting nicely, this one is really easy. Do the edges. Just gonna tighten it in here. Looks like everything is working fine. So this one is really not that difficult, but I'm not done yet. Still have some liquid in it. 
but it's working really good. It's really easy spoiler to do. There's not much to do in here because it's flat, even though those curves, if you put the tape and you create the template, it would basically work that out. It's not a straight piece, so. Looking good. I feel like it's kind of done before I'm gonna mess it up. I have little tiny edges over here, which is okay. I will try to pull it a little bit towards here. Try, but the backside will kind of get to that part anyway. That's the front edge. Looks like it's kind of too late. That's okay. So we'll have this in the cupboard in the back, but we'll have to make sure that we overlap here a little bit on the front. Looking good. Not worried about those edges before I heat it up. So <clears throat> just get a little bit wet, just a tiny bit. Clean the decal a little bit from that solution. Sometimes it can have stain if you leave in the decal solution on it. You want to start, you know, heating it up with, without having any stains on it. So I don't think with the micro soil you should have a problem, even though that's very strong stuff. But with micro set and with the decal magic, I just rather not leave any stains on it if I heat it up. Less trouble. All right, let's heat it up. Nice and shiny. Stretch a little bit more. I have a little bit left over here. I would stay away from that edge at this moment. Okay. All right. So now I have a little bit. I don't know if you can see. The decal in here a little bit needs to be pushed out and in here because of the heel that we have in here and tiny bit in here. So what I'll do is I'll take some of that micro salt. Not much. Just soak it in there just a little bit and work that out from here. I don't want to push nothing on the outside. Let that Settle a little bit, same thing in here. Just to get those guys soft a little bit. And eventually we'll work that out. See that? This one is giving up already, it's folding really nice. If you don't do that, you might rip it. It'll cause a rip, and then it won't be a nice finish over that area. So you don't want to force nothing. You can try with the heat, or you can try with the micro saw, but very gently. I always give respect to the micro saw because it's very strong. But it's really good for those situations, specifically for that. It's softening the decal instead of putting pressure on it. And it looks like they're going right into that area nicely after I did that. Like I said, with usually with the micro sole, I don't get any stains, it will dry right away, so I just don't worry about it. I'll hit it up again. Alright, so looks like it's done good. Take the cute to begin. You can use the wet one as well. I have one side that's wet, one side that's dry. Same 
something over here. And it looks beautiful. <clears throat> okay, we still have a little tiny bit left over over here to fold it. So I'm just gonna roll it like this. Just go straight on the line. Stretch it. Okay. I don't want to apply too much pressure. This spoiler is really thin, like really thin. I don't want to break it or anything. So in my head, I already put in my head that this thing is very fragile. Sometimes I put a lot of pressure on parts, but. I'm holding it very lightly and very gently because the last thing I want to do is put too much pressure and then break it. So I'm putting my finger to support it. You have to always be ready for those things. I have to fold it a little bit. I'm going to use some of that Nico Magic and because it's like glue for me and definitely softening the decal in a way. So I'm going to help the decal to stick better. Take my time and eventually she will stick to the other side. But you always want to start from here and push it out. There you go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's so nice. I didn't rip anything. I didn't create any bubbles or anything. Everything worked out really easy. It's really an easy one to do, except it's a very fragile material that it's made, it's very thin, that's the way it is. We deal with delicate parts many times, so I work with it very gently. I have a little bit left over here, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just use my finger and just fold it in. It's already got that. Deco solution in there, and it's kind of considered done. Just gonna make sure everything is fine. Area, yep. looking good. Looking really good. Hair dryer. One side is done. That's one side on the top. We still have to do the bottom and then the other side, which after a few minutes, I can definitely hold it in here. I can hold it right now in here, but I let it dry out a little bit, cool down, I would say, and then go to the other side. But that's how easy it was for me to get it straight. Put this away for a second. Let's do the build over here and see just for the fun of it confusing spoiler look at that it came out exactly 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 from here to here and from here it's all connecting i don't know if you can see it with this camera but it's definitely connecting perfect and again that was the line right here the rest of it i didn't care about and that was the direction and again oops I'm trying to clean it so the mission accomplished as far as this, it matches it everywhere I look at it. It's like right on, it's like, it fits like a glove, at least with the direction of the carbon fiber. And again, just because what I did in here, okay, you see it from here, you don't know where you're at. If you had it like this, you would know, if this was line wasn't there, you would never know where's, where's the decal, which position it is on the 90 degree. Well, that's the 90 degree. We know by this, but then we know by this, so. Let's see, this side is this side here. Again, if I had to create another one, I would just start from here to this way, or from here to that way. And that would be this direction. If I need to do this direction, which is confusing, <laughs> that's why I have to see usually. This direction in here, that will be from here. The next decal will be from here to here. Flip it over, and it will be perfect, lined up with everything, because what I did in here is, this is the main line I started. All this line right here is the center line that goes from left and right. 
and it's like I said this way and that way for each side so I hope you understood but if you pay attention to it a few times and try it yourself you're definitely gonna get it so don't forget to do this because every one of them I've been doing most of the time and this way I always always know where to start with and save as much as I can because there's always gonna be leftovers and I have piles of that and usually I don't use it because every part is very different on the shape and everything so I just wanted to show how easy this was to get around on the direction with the part that have nothing to do with the car just keep the straight line and that'll be all. I hope you got something out of this and uh, I'll continue to do the rest of it. Wow, 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 what a wonderful part, guys. I know it's very long, but wow. You see how we made it? It's fantastic. We have uh, one more pass together to, with me and Asi. It's, I call it behind the screen, something like that, because uh, it uh, will be uh, a few small videos, short one, and uh, he will speak with me and I will speak with him. Uh, I hope that you enjoy today, guys. Uh, what can I say? People, you are in my heart. Rosso Modern Channel. Asi with me, Project of the Air. Let's continue. See you next time, next video with Asi. Bye bye, guys.